As a 2008 congressional candidate, health care was the number one issue on my platform, and single payer was the health care plan I supported then and the plan I continue to support now. <laughs> no further than my own congressional district to see the devastating impact that our current mix of employer-provided and restrictive private health insurance plans have produced. As a self-employed individual paying for a private plan, I have seen my insurance premium skyrocket 30% as of the first of this year alone. I currently pay almost $8,000 in premiums for myself and carry $2,000 deductible. No dental, no vision, no prescription drug coverage. Critics of a single payer system claim that health care will be rationed under a national plan. We already have rationed health care in this country. It's called lose your job, your employer for provided health care plan, be unable to afford an outrageously priced private plan, and then be turned away because of a pre-existing condition. Nationwide, 14,000 Americans are losing their employer-sponsored health care each day. This is over and above the well-publicized 45 to 50 million uninsured. We are the only industrialized nation that does not have national health care. Health care reform supporting single payer is the only real economic stimulus plan we have. Trained as a CPA, I know that single payer is the most comprehensive, cost effective method we have to guarantee every American access to quality health care. The number one factor affecting American businesses' ability to meet their bottom line and remain competitive in a global economy is exorbitant health care costs. Congressional leaders have said a single-payer plan is politically impractical. Let me translate that for you. Congress is afraid to stand up to the powerful, well-funded lobbyists from Big Pharma and the insurance industry because they risk losing campaign contributions. Yes. 